Hey guys, this is Jessica Gutierrez with Clean With Me Podcast. This is a podcast where I walk you through cleaning your house step by step. So let's clean together. Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a speed cleaning episode today and give you a little update on my life and I will do a full length episode Wednesday morning again. I will do a segment on the Wednesday episode giving shout outs to all of you that have given me good ideas and messaged me and everything. I did not forget about you. I just want to do it in a full length episode and I have not gotten time to do so. But let's go ahead and get right into it. So early this morning, I got up early and I was, I'm going to go ahead and pat myself on the back. I was really proud of myself. I did a whole house clean because I ended up crashing out last night and going to sleep early with the kids. So I didn't get my cleaning done before bed. Um, But I got up early and I was able to get everything done before I left the house. So I'm super proud of myself and I just want to walk you through what I did. So first things first, I went and did a load of laundry. Uh, I figured I could do a quick laundry switch before I left my house because I did uh, get up a couple hours before I had to leave to work. So I timed it out to where both loads would be done, My meaning washing and drying would be done before I left the house because uh, at my apartment I do share my washer and dryer with the other person that lives above me. So I... So go ahead and start a load of laundry, you guys out there, if you have the time. And by the way, uh, if you've been a listener before, you know that I've told you this before. If you haven't, welcome. But I get up, I started getting up like 15 minutes earlier every day instead of waiting for my kids to wake up or waiting to the last, last possible second to get up and get ready because I realized that it was making me... Uh, just sad and angry in the morning like I was I was getting really frustrated and agitated because I felt rushed and stuff and I realized that getting up earlier was really good for my mental health and my peace of mind because I was able to do little things for myself like plug my eyebrows self-care stuff or clean up a couple things around the house or lay out my kids clothes or just not be late for work or running late I you know, it's just stressful when you're last minute. So yeah, after doing that for a very long time, I ended up getting up an hour and a half to two hours earlier than the rest of my household. And it, it really changes my attitude in the mornings. I have full time to wake up, do whatever it is I have to do that day. Usually I wake up with a plan. It's usually different day to day, but I try to do a a little speed cleaning in the morning and then, uh, and then leisurely get ready and get my kids ready without having to stress. And it doesn't have to be a full two hours for you. It might just be the 15 minutes and maybe you're comfortable with that. It's just whatever you yourself are comfortable with and whatever helps you get your day going, that's what you want to do. So you guys should be done with the laundry switch by by now. If not, no worries. If you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you can skip that part. Um, That's just what I did this morning. But let's go ahead and go to the kitchen now. So first thing we want to do is gather all of the dishes from around the house. You can delegate that or do it yourself. And once you've gathered all of the dishes, I want you guys to do a very thorough pre-rinse. So um, whether it's your breakfast mess or maybe you accidentally left some dishes from the night before. Maybe you were tired, crashed out like me. I left some in my dinner mess in the kitchen. To be honest, uh, you know, sometimes... We just don't get to it and we're tired and that's okay. Everybody has uh, dishes in your sink sometimes when you wake up. Ideally, we want to get them done after, you know, you cook or whatever, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we just need to take a little break for ourselves. So um, I did a lot of cleaning yesterday, like deep cleaning type stuff. So I didn't do my basic after dinner cleanup like I was supposed to. So, uh... Whatever mess you may have in the kitchen, uh, just go ahead and do a pre-rinse of that. And we want to do get them as clean as possible. That way the actual washing part goes by super quick and we can just knock it out. Um, If you have clean dishes on your drying rack or in your dishwasher, we want to go ahead and put those away before we actually start washing. 
sorry I said that a little bit out of order, um, you can either do your pre-rinse first or empty your dishwasher or drying rack first. Uh, you probably want to do that first, but I said it a little out of order. Um, either way you do it, as long as it gets done and before you actually start doing the washing washing, we want everything cleared out of the drying rack and dishwasher. And then once you get everything cleared out and ready, just start washing after you do that thorough, thorough pre-rinse. Um, and when I say do a thorough pre-rinse, that's just for you, y'all. And me and whatever, because the you know the more food and pre-rinsing you do and prep work, it just makes it seem like doing the actual dishes goes by fast. And sorry if there's any background noise. I'm in the parking lot at work and they're dumping the, they're getting the uh, garbage, so it's making a loud noise. So while you're finishing the dishes at your leisure, you guys, uh, you know, we want to do cups and silverware first. That way we don't get those, you know, greasy if we're using dishwater or however you do your dishes. I actually have a dishwasher now. Hallelujah. I haven't had one for years, so I had to get used to that. But it's it takes a really long time to finish. I didn't realize how long they take. But it takes like a couple hours, so um, I do hand wash anything that I need. Like if I only have a couple pans at my house, so I usually hand wash those. That way they're available, and then I put the rest of the stuff in the dishwasher. But I really got used to not having one, so dishes are like a breeze now, and I'm so excited to have one. So while y'all are working on the dishes, I'll just go ahead and give you a brief update on my life. Um, so... My best friend, Tristan, and my kids both go to the same daycare, and it's a home daycare, and it's just my kids and her kids, and her kids are the same exact age as mine, except she has a little boy instead of a little girl, um, as her younger child, and um, anyway, <laughs> our older daughters are super close, and they're both four, and uh, her name's Malia. Malia did something with eggs as well so they must be talking to each other about chickens and eggs and this must be something that they discuss because she found her daughter sitting on an egg a broken egg and she said Malia why are you doing that and she was like I'm hatching a chicken mom <laughs> just super matter of factly like her mom was dumb for asking like uh duh mom why else would I be sitting on an egg <laughs> And I'm like, are they talking to each other about eggs? Because my daughter was looking for chickens and eggs, and then Malia's trying to hatch a chicken. Anyway, I was on the floor laughing at that one. That really cracked me up, because they obviously are t discussing this in daycare or something. But moving on, y'all... Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have hung in with me... Uh, during this time, you know, I did mention I'm going through some personal struggles and stuff, and that's just, you know, I like to be peppy and upbeat and do the podcast while I'm in a good mood, and I, I like to be realistic and, you know, share with you guys my struggles, because I know a lot of you can relate, and some of it I'm not especially proud of, you know. I'm not perfect, and my life isn't perfect, and I don't think anybody's is. So my goal is just for you guys to relate and to maybe get gleam something from the episodes that can help you on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just tell you what helps me uh, regarding what's I, what I'm going through and what I have tried and what actually stuck with me and has helped me in hopes that, that it'll help you too. Thank you to those that have reached out to me and t given me feedback on um, Facebook Messenger and Instagram Messenger and other places like that and my Patreon. I really appreciate those messages of encouragement and telling me that you like the podcast and uh, giving me ideas for the podcast. Those really, really inspire me and help me. And you guys help me keep my house clean as much as um, I'm helping you because... I have a sense of accountability with the podcast. You know, I I have a cleaning podcast, so I 
feel really silly if I, you know, wasn't keeping up with my house. And I'm, that's not to say there are days where I ha, I do not clean and I have bad days. We all do. Don't get me wrong. I have had days where my house is a complete disaster. I have toddlers, trust me. But as long as you get back on that horse and you're back to cleaning when you feel okay or you're just doing, uh, maybe you're just doing the bare minimum for a couple days and then uh, you come back and you do all your back cleaning and stuff once you feel better, that's what's important is getting back on that horse once you've been knocked off. So just stay motivated, guys. Stay uh cleaning even when it's tough if you need to take a day of a day break from cleaning just to compose yourself whatever helps for helps you uh keep going don't stress yourself out don't beat yourself up if you're not keeping up with something we've all been there we all have tough times just don't beat yourself up over it as long as you get back Get back to your routine or maybe try a new routine if the old one's not working for you. Maybe you're putting too much on your plate. Say you're getting super overwhelmed every time you're doing a cleaning session. Maybe you just need to do it in smaller time increments. Maybe you just need to do like 15 minute increments of cleaning and then um, pause and then come back to it at a later time. You know, it's all very personal and it's whatever personally works for you. I prefer obviously the plan that I have, uh, that I do the podcast, the increments of time that I spend in each room are based on my personal cleaning and my mom's and we kind of put those together because she has a different size house than I do and that's how we came up with our times But it's just a guideline. Everyone's house is different. Everyone's house size is different. The level of cleanliness is different. So, you know, again, it's just an outline. It's just something to kind of help you guys along. You can pause, rewind, restart uh, based on your house size. So we're just doing a quick speed cleaning episode today. So You should be finishing up with your dishes. If you maybe don't have time to finish them, we can come back to them later. You can pause me, rewind me, whatever the case may be. Or maybe you just had time for a pre-rinse and you want to come back and do it after you're done with work or doing whatever it is you have planned for the day. So let's go ahead and move on quickly to the wiping down portion of the kitchen. We're going to do a quick speed clean wipe down of your entire kitchen and before we wipe down we need to clear space so let's clear everything out of the kitchen that doesn't belong and just quickly run and put that all away uh you know miscellaneous junk maybe it just needs to be put in a drawer uh maybe you have like some kind of organizer for mail or something you need to put your mail in maybe you just need to put some toys or I don't know whatever miscellaneous stuff you have on your countertops and just put that away that way we're clearing space to get wiped down if there's any appliances or coffee makers or something that don't have a permanent home on your countertop and you need to put those underneath in a cabinet go ahead and do that now at this time you guys are doing great I'm so proud of you for spending that time to clean before your errands or work or whatever you have to do today it's really it I don't know for me it makes me feel amazing when I get to clean a little bit before I go to work it's like I got up early and got my stuff done it just makes my whole day better and I feel so good about myself So once you've done that, I like to use Clorox wipes because they're disinfecting and super easy and disposable, but you use whatever works for you, whether that's just a soapy wet rag or a sponge or whatever, but I prefer the Clorox wipes, so I get those and I just went wiped down crazy this morning. I wiped down my microwave, inside my microwave, um, my countertops, my stove, made sure to get behind the sink, uh, and just any drips on cabinets or anything. I have dark cabinets so it's really easy to see if like something dripped on the cabinets while I was doing the dishes or something. So I just quickly did that and uh, you know same thing handles make sure you're getting handles uh, anything that's frequently touched 
And then after you're done doing a quick wipe down, if there's any crumbs that you brushed onto the floor, uh, let's not track those around the house. If you want to just do a quick spot, a sweep of your crumb crumbs that have fallen on the floor, you could do that at this time. That way we're not tracking it into the living area. And uh, we're going to quickly move on to the living area and just do a quick pick up and clean of that. So first things first, let's do a quick pick up. Um, anything in your living area that does not belong, go ahead and put it away at this time, whether that be toys, miscellaneous junk, uh, trash, what have you. We should have already gotten the dishes at this time, but no worries if you have a couple stragglers, maybe you, you forgot some dishes in the living area, go ahead and put those in the kitchen. And then once you're done doing your quick pickup of the living area, just straighten your pillows on your couch. Uh, maybe you need to use your, maybe you have a hand vacuum, you just need to vacuum something up on your couch. Maybe there's crumbs. Or uh, maybe you just need to do a quick spot sweep or vacuum of your living area. You could do that at this time. We're just doing a quick straightening before we have to leave. So... Whatever that means to you, everyone's house is different, but I just want you to do as much as you can in a short period of time. Just run around and pick everything up and just make it look nice. And we could do the deep cleaning stuff later, but don't... Now, when I say we're doing a speed cleaning, don't put things where they don't belong because we're in a hurry or stuff things. Because that's just creating more work for ourselves, and I'd rather leave something where it lies then put it in a wrong place because that honestly creates way more work and once you're done with that I'm going to go ahead and move on to the bedroom area now because when I wake up in the morning I really like to make my bed it makes me feel better about my space and my room and so uh if at all possible uh, just straighten up your pillows on your bed and make your bed really quick before we leave the house and pick up anything that's on the floor. Maybe you threw some clothes on the floor while you're getting ready in a hurry. Uh, you can put those away, hang anything up that you tried on, throw anything in the dirty laundry that's dirty, uh, pick up any toys, make your baby's bed if you have babies. If not, ignore that part. Uh, just straighten, straighten, straighten. Um, then I like to scamper on, on onto the bathroom and do a quick bathroom straighten because uh, I usually destroy my bathroom in the morning with makeup and hair stuff and what have you, especially when I'm getting the kids ready. So in the mornings, I like to just do a quick, uh, this is obviously an ideal morning like today where I got everything done. I'm not saying I do this every morning or my house would always be perfect, but today I had a good morning and I did a speed clean. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Don't feel bad if you don't do this. I do not do this every day. This was just a very good day. I do get up early every day now. That has become a part of my routine, but sometimes I just take care of myself in the morning instead of my house and that sometimes is needed. But moving on, just straighten up your bathroom really quickly. Uh, if you have some Clorox wipes and you have time to do a quick wipe down, you can do that at this time. If you don't have time, no worries. Uh, don't stress yourself out over it. If you just have time for a pickup, then just do that. Uh, dirty laundry, clean laundry that needs to be put up. Maybe you just have to put away your uh, hair stuff and your makeup and whatever it is you left out on the counter. Maybe you had a straightener unplugged that you left there to cool off. Maybe you need to put that underneath the sink or a curling iron or a blow dryer that needs to be put away. And just put everything away. Maybe you have a towel that needs to be hung up to dry. And we did it. We straightened up the house before work or school or uh, you know, staying home with the kids if you're a stay-at-home parent or mom or uh, maybe you just don't work and don't have kids, whatever walk of life you're in, you did it, you cleaned your house, you straightened your house, and I am proud of you for doing that. Keep up the good work. You guys have been motivating me. Keep the, the questions and the ideas and the encouragement coming my way on Facebook and Instagram Messenger or Patreon Messenger. I really appreciate y'all. If you guys want to financially support the podcast, I will put the Patreon link in the description 
uh, that really helps me just to keep going with the podcast. Um, it helps finance it, and uh, you can message me on there. I do post occasionally on there. And thank you, all of you that already support me financially. You guys are amazing. Keep up the good work, guys, and as always, happy cleaning. <laughs>